Basky Legion has made its way through time and arrived in the Peldia region, ready to turn the Pokemon competitive scene upside down. With Swift Swim doubling its speed in the rain and Last Respects boosting my 50 base power for every KO'd mon on your team, not a lot wants to switch in. Pair that with Stab Wave Crash boosted by the rain and Basky Legion just cannot be stopped. Today's video is going to be a little different as it's going to be more of a compilation of Basky Legion dominating in ranked stadium singles. So I hope you all enjoy. So without further ado, let's get into the battle. And the battle begins. Good luck to my opponents. So they're going to lead off with whatever that is, the uh, Garchomp, as I led off with Pelipper. So this isn't the worst lead in the world. And um, we get the rain up and all that, which is great. We could just fire off an ice beam against this thing, but I'm kind of leaning towards just going for a U-turn instead. Um, I think U-turn is probably a better option. So I'm going to go for an ice beam anyway. They go for a stealth rock. So stealth rocks are up. That's fine. It's going to break my Meowth Scarlet Sash, which is unfortunate. Um, but Meowth Scarlet outspeeds our whole team pretty much. So we go for an ice beam. That should take out the Gar uh, Garchomp, no problem. Oh, it doesn't. It's a bulky chomp. Okay, cool. Um, let's go for a U-turn now. They're going to Terra. What type are they going to Terra into, though? That's the real question. So, Terrestrialization is here. Let's see what they do. They go for the Steel Terrestrialization. That's that's fair enough. I said that really weirdly, then. Terrestrialization. Right, let's see what this Garchomp does to us. It's going to go for a... Oh, we go for a U-turn. They go for a Dragon Tail. Okay, Dragon Tail's interesting. So, Rough Skin's going to hurt us. Rough Skin's going to hurt us. What do we want to switch into a uh, Dragon Tail here? That's the real question. And what do we want to switch into a Dragon Tail? Probably not Basque Legion. Um, we're better off going Meowth Skirada because Sash is already broken anyway. And we might end up getting pushed out into our Basque Legion if we do this. So we'll go Meowth Skirada now. And uh, Stones do it again, breaking our Sash. They go for a Dragon Tail, which is fine. And that's going to take us to about 50%, which is also fine. Hopefully we didn't get knocked out into Pelipper here and it's the Basque Legion, but it's probably not. Yeah, it's Pelipper. Pelipper, yeah, that's an un annoying. Uh, stones are going to dig in, which is unfortunate. Um, so if we assume this thing is going to go for another Dragon Tail here, we should go for a Weather Ball. So Weather Ball is what I'm going to go for. There's the Weather Ball coming through. In the rain, it's going to be a base 100 power uh, water move. So it's definitely going to take out that Garchomp as the Garchomp goes down, which is fantastic. So with Garchomp out of the way, we've potentially got an Earth Lunar Blood Moon that can come in, but they won't do that because it'll be outsped and KO'd. They're probably going to bring me out Skirada in, I think. I think they would have bring me out Skirada. What is that? What's that coming in now? Mimikyu. Okay, that's fine. Mimikyu's big. So we go for a U-turn here every single time because it'll break the disguise. They go for a sword stance. Also fine. We can handle this. We go for a U-turn. There we go. Break the disguise. Now, the only thing is, Last Respect is only 50 base power right now. It's only 50 base power. So we're going to have to go into something that can... And um, take this thing on. So I'm, I'm leaning towards the Meowth Garada just to get a uh, hit off. But I'm not 100% sure, sure. So um, I think I will sack off Meowth Garada here. Just, just get that base 50 power extra onto the last respects. So I'm not really sacking per se. Because we are going to outspeed here unless they go for um, whatever they want to go for. I'm going to go for a Flower Trick. Flower Trick comes through. It should do a lot of damage. I don't think it KOs though. As there we go. Flower Trick comes through. It doesn't KO. It's a crit, obviously, because it's always a crit. They go for a play rough. That's going to take us out. So that's fine. So now, um, you're probably thinking Shadow Sneak is going to KO my uh, Basque Legion. But actually, we're not um, going to get KO'd by the uh, Shadow Sneak. Because on Basque Legion, we are Terra Dark. Um, we Terra Dark simply because of stuff like Shadow Sneak and other things like that. Um, also, Psy Spam. Psy Spam, like Psychic Terrain Spam and stuff like that. So I'm going to go for the Terra Dark. And I'm going to go for the Last Respects right now. So we terrestrialize into a dark type, making us resistant to the shadow sneak. So even though it's plus two, it's still gonna, not going to do much damage. The Basque Legion coming through right now. There's the Terra Dark, looking amazing. I love terrestrialization; it's so cool. The hats are a bit goofy, but you know, it's it, you know what else they're going to do. So we go for last respects. That's going to take out the Mimikyu, no problem, which is fine. So Mimikyu down and out. We're probably going to see. If I had to guess, I would say either Dragonite or the Meow Skirada's coming in. What's that? What's coming in now? Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Oh, I'm hitting this thing with a solid wave crash right now. I'm hitting this thing with a solid wave crash right now. There we go. Wave crash comes through. Should KO. Does KO. Basque Legion with a W. Absolutely amazing stuff. Let's go. Let's go. And the battle begins. Good luck out, Fungwig. So they're going to lead off with... 
Pachicator, which is going to be this uh, Cleavo with the Stone Axe. Absolutely fine by me. Now, Pelipper is fine to go down here. I am fine with Pelipper going down. Pretty confident we can live a Stone Axe, but at the same time, I don't mind. So, what I want to do is, I want to go for a U- No, I don't want to go for a U-turn yet, do I? I want to go for a- Yeah, I'm going to go for a U-turn. They go for a Stone Axe, and if we, if we die here, which we don't, luckily, we get a free switch in with Basket Legion, which is absolutely amazing. So, let's go for a U-turn real quick. Break a potential Sash on this thing. Because it could be Sash, you never know. And we're going to go out into good old Basket Legion over here. And I've noticed that um, a lot of people seem to run Stealth Rocks on Ranked, which is interesting. So, uh, I didn't think Stealth Rocks were very popular on Ranked, just because of how short-paced they are. But, I guess it's I guess I was wrong. Um, either way, we're going to go for a Wave Crash here. There's no reason not to, because the whole team is going to take a lot of damage from it. So, let's go for a Wave Crash right now. A uh, Wave Crash comes through. That's going to take out the Cleavor, no problem. Down it goes. Basket Legion with another KO. Looking amazing. What an absolute beast. What an absolute beast. Gramago comes in. Who's Gramago? Goldengo. Okay, so Goldengo could Terra here. So we're going to be safe. We're going to go for a flip turn here and just go out into Pelipper to sack it off. So they do Terra. That's fine. Ter Terrestrializing the Goldengo is fine. Let's see what type they go into there. That's the real question. So. Ghost. Okay, Ghost is fine as well. That means... Now we can go into Pelipper, sack it off, and then come back in and last respects this thing. Um, so we go for a flip turn like so. Bit of damage. Oh my lord, that damage was insane! That was insane damage from a flip turn. Absolutely insane damage from a flip turn. Basket Legion's a monster, right? So let's go into Pelipper now. We'll sack it off to the Self Rocks. Rain's going to be up for another like six turns, so we're not too worried about that. So Stones dig in. And now, they go for what exactly? A Shadow Ball. That's fine. Shadow Ball's fine. It's, it's going to fail, obviously. We go back to Basket Legion and we fire off a Last Respect. So Basket Legion comes in. Nice and shiny. Gotta love it. Stealth Rocks do dig into us. So let's go for a Last Respect now. Last Respect comes through. It's base 100. Takes out the Goldengo in one clean hit with a critical hit. Not that it matters. And Goldengo does go down, which is fantastic. So hopefully... We don't see a Hisuian Samurai here, and we see something along the lines of the Sneasler or the Electrode, maybe. That'd be cool. Farfrex comes in. That is the Sneasler. So Sneasler doesn't want to take a Wave Crash, that's for sure. But it could be Sashed. So we need to be careful here. So I'm going to go for a Last Respect, just because why not? And we'll take it down to its sash if it is sashed. Oh, it's not sashed. Oh, it just goes down. <laughs> okay, Basket Legion, calm down. I know Sleezer's is frail, frail and all that, but GG. Anyway, that was a really good one for Basket Legion. Basket Legion came through. What a legend. And the battle begins. Good luck, have fun, Benz. So they're going to lead off with Hydrapple, which is a good lead. As well, I'll off with Pelipper. So Pelipper's a good lead as well here because we can Ice Beam this thing into Oblivion. After getting the drizzle up. So let's let's just do that. Let's go for an Ice Beam. I don't see any reason not to. Ice Beam comes through. This this Hydrapple's going to live probably. But barely. As it goes for a Syrup Bomb. Which ain't going to do nothing. Except from lower our speed I think. Yeah it lowers our speed. That's fine. So it low, I think it lowers your speed every turn. So now. now um, just in case they switch out. In the, I think Ice Beam's still a safe bet. So let's go for an Ice Beam bet. They go for a Fickle Beam, that's going to KO us, right? No, it doesn't. Pelipper coming through with the KO on the Hydrapple. What a legend. I would have personally... No, no, Fickle Beam wouldn't have made sense to go twice. Yeah, Syrup Bomb, then Fickle Beam made more sense. If they'd have gone all out there, Pelipper would be dead. But, you know what? It's fine. We ball. A Dragonite comes in. This thing can take us out, no problem. Which I'm kind of banking on. So, let's go for an Ice Beam anyway, just in case they Dragon Dance. Aerial Ace, that's fine. Nice flying stab move for Dragonite. I didn't even know got Aerial Ace, to be fair. Didn't even know. Didn't even know. Right, okay, so now we go into... I guess it makes sense to go Meow Scrod Triple Axle, but... I kind of want to go Basket Legion. I'm going to go Basket Legion. We're going to go Basket Legion. We're going to hit that last respect. It's base 100 power right now. It's base 100 power right now, and we're in the rain. So let's go for a last respect real quick. Last respect comes through. And that does a lot of damage to the Dragonite. That does a lot of damage to the Dragonite right there. As they go for an EQ, that's fine. That's not going to take us out. 
Gonna do a nice, decent little bit of chip damage. But because we're a ghost type as well, they can't e-speed us. So let's go for a last respect again. Last respect comes through. They haven't terra normal, so they're probably not terra normal on the Dragonite. So I'm wondering what they are on that. But you know what? It's fine. We, we, we get a KO with Basque Legion. That's all that matters. Backscalibur comes in. This thing is a threat right here, right? But it doesn't have multi-scale. So I'm thinking last respect should get a good chunk of damage to this thing right now. So let's go for a last respect. Last respect comes through. Oh, it's a nearly KO on the Backscalibur, which is awesome. They go for a Glaive Rush, though. That's going to take us out. Now, luckily, though, we're not bothered about this at all because we have the Meow Scrider in the back. So Basque Legion goes down after dealing with the Dragonite and nearly dealing with the Backscalibur to the point where Meow Scrider can just come in and go for a knockoff here. So knockoff should be able to take out this Backscalibur right now. So there we go. Meow Scrider comes in. We go for a knockoff. They're going to Terror. What type are they terroring into? Are they going to go Fairy? Fairy would be good. Oh, the Terra Ice. So they're going for the Ice Shard, probably. Terra Ice, Ice Shard, just to get as much damage as possible and try and take us down. But we have Focus Sash, so we're not bothered about that. Um, they actually don't I they don't Ice Shard. We go for a knockoff. That's going to KO the back Scalibur, no problem. And that is going to be the game. So GG Benz. I was like, all right, well, that was. Basky Legion putting the work. And the battle begins. Good lookout for Neo. So they're going to lead off with Hull Lucha. That's an interesting lead as we lead off with Pelipper. So this is a good lead for us because we can just hurricane this thing straight off the bat. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to hurricane it right off the bat. There's no real reason not to. They might terror if they do, they do. They go for a Swords Dance though, right in the face of a Pelipper in the rain. That is courageous right there. So we go for the Hurricane. That should do a lot of damage. Actually nearly takes them out. Turns out they're Focus Sash, which is terrifying. But we do have the Aqua Jet on the Basque Legion, so I'm not really too worried. So let's go for a um, let's go for a Weather Ball. They're probably going to take us out here with an Acrobatics. Oh, we live in! We live in! Pelipper live in! We go for a Weather Ball, and that's a Dead Hall Lucha right there. So that's unfortunate we couldn't get Basque Legion in there to um, Revenge KO that. But it is what it is. At least the threat is out of the way. Greninja comes in. Greninja's a good switch. Nice and powerful. Nice and shiny. And uh, we go for a U-turn here all the time. They're going to Terrastalize. What type are they going to Terrastalize into, though? That's the real question. If it's Terra Electric, that's pretty cool. Um, let's see what they do, though. They're going to go Terra Electric. Nice. I love the Terra Electric Greninja tech. That's awesome. So a Terra Electric Greninja on the field. It's going to take us out of a Terra Blast, no doubt. There's the Terra Blast. It's going to take us out. But we're in much better of a position because Pelipper may go down here, which is fine. However, we don't know whether this thing's Sash or not. We might find out in a minute, actually. No, we don't. So we go Basque Legion here, and we flip turn on this thing. We go Basque Legion, we swift swim flip turn them. There we go, Basque Legion's in. And like I said, we flip turn, and then we go into Miascarada. They go for a Water Shuriken to get a little bit of damage off. That's fine. That tells me they're not focused Sash, otherwise they would have gone for a Terra Blast there. So that's good to know. But Water Shuriken comes through five times. Are they loaded dice? That's interesting. So, um, loaded dice, Greninja with Terra Electric. Awesome. We go for a flip turn. That's going to... Oh, it nearly KOs the Greninja? Wow. Wow. So, that's fine and all. We now go into Meow Skirada. Meow Skirada comes through. There we go. And then we simply go for a U-turn here. They go for a Water Shuriken. That's fine. It's not going to KO us. Shouldn't, unless they get crits. Which, like, three out of five, they haven't. So, there's this next Water Shuriken. And there's number five. So, they are loaded dice, which is good to know. And um, we get hit by five times, which is fine. We go for a U-turn. Turning ourselves into a bug type, thanks to protein. We take out that Greninja, which is awesome. So, with Greninja down. Out of the last remaining Pokemon, I think Basque Legion can handle this. I think Basque Legion can handle this. I really do think Basque Legion can handle this. So, Miascara, come on back. There's the Basque Legion coming in. And I don't think there's anything on that team that can take a hit from this thing. Because they've already terrored for a start. Metagross comes in. That's fine. Metagross is absolutely fine. We have got two KOs under... No, we have got one KO under our belt. So this is a base 100 move. So let's go for a last respect and take out this Metagross. Last respect comes through. Unless they're focus sashed, which they're not. We get a KO with Basque Legion. And we nearly KO'd the Greninja in one shot with Flip Turn as well, which is awesome. So Basque Legion put in the work once again. Basque Legion is awesome, right? Anyway, if you want to try the team out, be sure to use the code on screen now. And with that being said, I'll catch you all in a bit.